All right, welcome to One Board Family Plays. Let me get that box, Bob. That's for you. Lions of Lydia. <laughs> so this is a new game uh, from Johnny Pack and Daryl. Uh, Daryl Jones did the illustrations and Bellwether Games is the publisher. So it's currently on Kickstarter, so you won't get this for a little bit, but it's an excellent game. Just a, uh, a quick side note. So this is a bag management and uh, resource management game. Economic. Yeah, economic game. Usually you hear of bag builders. This is more of a bag management where you're actually digging into the bag and you're hoping you, you've got this 25% chance of getting something that you want. And so you're trying to curate that bag to do exactly what you want it to do. Uh, so we're going to teach you the game tonight. Um, and we actually, I believe we're going to have uh, Daryl and... Uh, um, Dennis, Dennis on Bellwether. the from Bellwether Games uh, on the stream. So if you have questions, they might be able to answer it. If not, we'll attempt to. So, <laughs> all right. So let's go. Let's take a look at the stage. So this is the town of Lydia, or the kingdom of Lydia, if you will. Um, we are uh, the the big push behind this is that you have these coins, these really cool wooden coins. Okay, uh, where this is the new form of um, new form of economy, you know, for this for this uh, kingdom. And so what we're doing is we're going to be trading resources. We're going to be getting these coins, and these coins actually give you uh, it's it acts as a wild, a wild resource essentially. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and so you have all these pieces of property outside the board. You have this town square. This is the uh, this is the center of town right here. And actually, we're going to start off with one of each color in the center of town. So we need to, we do need to put that. We set up the uh, the city here um, ahead of time. But you see we have these resource management boards, each of us. Aaron is playing right over here. Bob is playing right over here. And I'm right here. So um, we've got these little uh, resource management boards right here. You're going to be tracking uh, livestock and wheat, iron ore, um, and pottery. pottery? Yes. Pottery. Pottery. <laughs> um, and then you also have this basically uh, prestige tracker down at the bottom that's going to allow you to get bonuses uh, such as tokens, also the ability to build more um, more places, more properties. There are also some end game victory point score on the uh, right edge of the board down here. Yep. If you can move this marker far enough along the board. Yep. Yep. And so uh, it plays really well. We're going to all start off with a bag. We've got these bags right here. And uh, we're going to have one of each color meeple in the bag. So we're going to toss those in there, shake them up. And then what we're going to do is on our turn, we're going to draw a meeple out of our bag. We're going to choose an area of town to place them in. We can place them at the city gates these four city gates in the corners, um, and they're going to give you different resources. If I place somebody at the city gate right over here, I'll get a yellow resource, a wheat resource. I'll also get a red resource, the uh, yeah. cattle um, or livestock. And then I'm also going to get a resource of the color that I put down. Okay. If you have matching, let's say I put down a yellow meeple. Let's dig in this bag real quick. Let's say I put it down a yellow meeple right here. Those two Meeple twins right there, I'm going to get two yellow resources, a uh, red resource, and then these two guys are going to go right into the center of town. Okay? And then when I pull back a Meeple, I'm actually going to go to the center of town, and I'm going to pull one from the fountain there. And any color that you choose. Any does color not of my cho choosing. That, that's where the bag management comes in, or the bag yep. building comes in. Yeah. Because if you're looking for a particular type of resource, you're going to want to trade out and mm -hmm. stock that uh, color of resource into your bag yep. so you have right. better percentage chance of pulling that color absolutely yep. so zach yes that is a game with wooden coins yes they are very nice wooden coins and the uh, deluxe, there is a, yeah there is a deluxe deluxe version uh, that's going there's to, a uh, coin in there with that's the going to version. have the metal coins as well yep We've got a sample of the I metal coins should have had it in the here. bag there we go yeah very nice looking yeah there you go so this is the metal coin uh, for a sample of the metal coin that you get with the deluxe version. Um, if you're interested in this game, uh, you can check out the Kickstarter. Uh, it, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, there's a link to the Kickstarter right in the show notes. But the base uh, does come with the wooden coins. Yes, correct. 
All right, so we're going to get started. Um, Aaron, do you want to go first? Yes. Did you explain these cards that we already have in oh, possession? Oh, we already have uh, property cards. So I've got a yellow property card. Aaron has a red property card. And, and Bob good. has a blue, of course, uh, for our different player colors. And this property card, uh, you'll see a couple of pieces of information that we'll point out on these property cards. Up here at the top, you're going to see that is the cost to develop it. So if I spend two wheat, I'm going to be able to develop this card and flip it over to its opposing side. Um, this right here says that if I put a yellow meeple on a yellow gate, I'm going to get an additional bonus wheat. This is victory points at the bottom of the card that says two victory points at the end of the game. When I flip it over to its opposing side, once it's developed, you'll see nothing up here in the banner. And then I get two wheat if I put a yellow meeple at a yellow gate, and I get four victory points at the end of the game. So you want to develop cards, and actually the game ends when yep. seven, mm -hmm. uh, when one player develops seven pieces of property. And that's in a three-player game, yes. so that's different for two-player, three-player, and four. It's uh, eight, seven, and six, mm -hmm. respectively. Yep. That's okay. right. Yep. So. Uh, also should mention that um, there is a set pattern uh, on each one of these four quadrants. Yes. Uh, it is two purple, three uh, gray, and one uh, merchant card per. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are 44 cards in the game, so this layout, even though it's always set the number of banners, yep. is variable. That's right. That's right. Okay. And so, and we'll talk about the Lydian merchants. Uh, you'll see these golden meeples right here. Uh, you'll see the Lydian merchants will actually explain what they do as they come into the game. And once we interact with them. Exactly. Yep. So we'll explain how that works. All, All right, right, Aaron. Okay. So I'm pulling out of my bag. Yep. I've pulled a red. And that's great with me because my little card, if I put a red meeple at a red gate, I get an extra bull. So I'm going to do that. So okay. I'll get... Two red from that, mm -hmm. and then an extra because of my because card. Because the gate, yep. Mm -hmm. And then I'll also get a yellow. And because she did not double up on colors of meeple, she doesn't have to push anything into mm -hmm. the center of town. She only now just has to pull back from right. the center of town. And so That's I right. think that I'm going to take this red. Okay. okay, cool. Excellent. So, Bob, you are up, sir. All right, so I'm going to go into my bag here. I've also pulled a red. Um, so now this is very interesting for me. Uh, if I want to go really heavily into the cattle, I can take this red and I can drop it here. Mm -hmm. I have no bonus cards, which may be out here, that let me get anything extra for placing at a yep. red gate. But because there's a double here, I will get two mm -hmm. and one. So I'll get a total of three cattle, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll go up three cattle, and I'll get one for the yellow. But because uh, I've doubled up here, this yep. will get pushed away from here. So you could never have... They'll, all, they'll both be pushed in. Oh, that's right. So, they'll both be yep. pushed in. Yeah, that's okay. And then um, now I will have to pull back, and I probably want to up. Since I have... Um, I'm, I'm leaning towards wanting to do mm -hmm. extra things with blue. I'm probably going to want to stock my bag with it for right now. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be my move. And this is... Uh, this, the reason we're doing this and getting these resources um, is to use these resources to actually buy these cards off the board. And when you pull a meeple from your bag, you can do one of two things. You can place that meeple at a gate to gain the resources that you would need to get for that turn. Or the meeple that you pull from your bag, you can actually take and just stick right into the mm -hmm. center of town and sacrifice your turn to get resources mm -hmm. and actually instead use the resources that are on your board mm -hmm. to buy cards. And you're allowed to spend as much resources as you want a turn. There's no limit to how many cards you can buy in one single turn. So you keep spending resources yeah, and yeah. keep pulling cards mm -hmm. as much as you want until you can't buy anymore or you decide to stop because you just want to save something. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. <clears throat> All right, go ahead, Ryan. It's on you. All right, so let's see what I pull out of this bag here. Let's see what I get. I'm going to pull a yellow meeple. Yes. Your favorite. My favorite. So I'm going to go right over here to my yellow gate. Um, the reason is I'm going to get a bonus because I am yeah. the yellow player. So I'm going to get uh, one red. I'm going to get two yellow. And then my bonus yellow resource mm -hmm. right there. 
Yeah. So, um, and that's it. Um, now, when you develop things and when you buy properties, you actually go to the center of town and you don't go to the gates. So it's very, I like how it's distinguishing like outside the city, you're trading resources. That's yeah. what you're doing. When you go inside the city, there's this, there's this commerce that's going on that you're mm -hmm. taking properties, you're building your properties up, things like that. So, and the reason we we're trying, go ahead, Aaron, it's on you. The I'm reason... gonna let me pull. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. gonna pull back a red. Okay. Um, <laughs> the reason we are trying to uh, max these resources, uh, they only go up to six total. And the reason we're trying to max these is because when you max a resource at this sixth level, uh, it'll stay there until you decide to spend those resources. But once you get to this sixth column yep. over here, um, you're going to be able to actually do one of two things. And that is um, move up the bottom uh, gray resource down here, which mm -hmm. is just a pillar. It doesn't actually say what the, the resource it's is. Prestige, is prestige. Is it prestige? I think prestige? it's called. Okay. And uh, Dennis, you can yeah, Dennis you can uh, let us know if we're completely wrong. I think it's prestige. Is it prestige? So. Okay. So you'll be able to once you get to this six, you'll be able to move up this prestige marker and cross mm -hmm. different uh, levels to get coins and to get victory points at the end of the game. You can do that each time you get a resource to max. Yeah. Um, and then, or instead of doing and moving the prestige marker, you can actually develop uh, one of your. Mm -hmm. uh, Properties for free for free without yeah. having to pay the resources. So. That's right. So yeah, and remember seven developed properties mm -hmm. Triggers the end game. That's right, uh, and I'm not so. all the way up here Influence <laughs> influence not prestige. influence oh, there Influence you go. There you go. Thank you <clears throat> All right, so it's on me Aaron. It's on you. All right, so let me go ahead. And I just want some of those wooden coins That's yeah. all I want. Mm -hmm. uh, green that is not the color I wanted but I do like this crowded gate over here. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and get good. one red, uh, one green, and two yellow. Yeah. So you get a nice spread of resources. Yeah. There. So I'll pull really blue good. back since that's what I'm trying to focus on mm -hmm. for right now. Mm -hmm. So now I have a 75% chance that mm -hmm. I pull a blue meeple out of this bag. And you totally so now, set that and I won't up for do Ryan. It. And I you won't set do it. you set this up for me. I did. I did. Look what I've got. I I've got all these yeah, meeples hanging out at the like city it. gate. I'm yeah, gonna get a lot of nice resources, and you'll probably match a color. Yeah, Let's probably. see what I get. A green. Of course. So I'm gonna two go ahead yellow, and put green, green there. I'm getting two yellow, two green, I don't like it. a red, and my the two There's green things. go into the center of town. Uh, these guys stay, and I'm gonna pull back. I'm so close on that yellow. I really don't want another yellow. I'll pull a blue. So I think in my bag I've got two blue and two red now. So I'm gonna Can't pull you a blue. Look in there to see? Yeah, I think so. I think I yeah. do. Uh, <laughs> let me well, know if that's wrong. Yeah, Dennis, let cheat. us know. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe yeah. I shouldn't. So yeah, yeah I've got two blue and two remember. red, so I know yeah. I'm pulling a blue or a red next yeah. turn. So okay. mm. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna go over there too because that's my best bet there. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get two yellow, a red, and a green. So two yellow, a red. And a green, okay. And so, ooh, I set Bob up. I yeah, you don't did. like it. Yeah, yeah but did. the thing and is, I, I, if I pull blue, which yellow. I have a seventy-five percent chance that I'm going to pull a blue, meeple, okay. I'd really like to go to that blue gate. Okay, but mm -hmm. I would like one of Watch everything. Watch you not <laughs> pull a blue. I, the chances are I won't. Like, that's see. just my what luck. Is it? Oh, yeah, oh you, you did. did. You pulled All the blue. Right, so now. D <sighs> So this would give me three because yep. I'm going to get one, one, and this over here for going to a blue Bonus. gate is going to give me an extra. So three and one or two. I think this is still, I think you, this became too good. It's real nice. This became too good. I, I You're have, getting I have one of that. every resource and yeah. another yellow. And, and another yellow. Yeah. So I'm going to get one blue, one green, one red, and two yellow. I now can't this one's so that. stacked that I, uh, oh, no. I don't know that I can... So, oh. yeah, I know. You want great? You want great? <laughs> oh, you I wanted to. good stuff. I get it. Yeah. You know, yeah, I yeah, good yeah. stuff. I get it. And it gives Ryan good stuff. Yeah. Oh, so. my goodness. All right. I don't know how I don't go to that gate. You but can't not, yeah. not go to that gate. All right. We got gate. red here. Um, wow. Just do That's, it, Ryan. I gotta, do it. I got to go to that gate. So, all right. So, I'm going to this gate. I got oh. blue. Double yellow. Double blue. Double blue. I mean, double yellow. Double yellow. So, I max out. On that, yep. I get a green and, and two red. red. Yep. Okay, um, and because of that, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, influence 
okay. um, for this. Gonna pop that so I'm going to move this right here. So the first thing that you cross here um, is the merchant. Yep. And once you do, your influence marker crosses that uh, merchant or goes onto that spot, your merchant will lift up off your board and will go into the center here. Yep. And that will activate uh, the ability for us to now interact with that merchant and pull him back into our bags. Mm -hmm. And we'll go over what he does once we actually pull him out yeah. of our bags. But I should also note on the influence track here, there are uh, city building mm -hmm. uh, limitations yeah. based off of where your um, influence marker is. So the first column is you can only have three. Three uh, cities yep. uh, built. You can only have five in the second, eight, mm -hmm. and then nine plus once it gets all the way up to the fourth okay. spot. And so, you could have, when you did that, you could have made the choice to develop your card there. She, uh, yeah, I he could have. Instead yes. of, and I yep. went that route. I went the development route last time, and I feel like I missed out on that early bump. It, you know, the influence so, bump. Yeah. The influence bump in the beginning. Yeah. Okay, so I'm yeah, going to pull back. Good. I'm actually going to pull back a Lydian merchant. Ah, so. Yeah. I knew it was going to stay out there yeah. until it got to me. but <laughs> Okay. I'm going to place this. This is the hot spot, Ooh, right? Oh, triple yellow. Yeah. And then One, that's going to max three. her out. Yep. yep. One, two, okay. Yep. So, hmm. Are you developing that? That's what I'm trying to decide. Or are you going for influence? I think I'm actually going to go for influence because okay. I also want the Good. development Good. Put trait. that Lydia Merchant in there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And let's see here. I'm going and to you don't take. Need, you don't need him. Mm, I think I do, Bob. I think I do. <laughs> when Bob I says I you will, don't need, I think I will yeah. take him. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dennis says you can actually look in your bag, except when you're drawing. Drawing. You can't uh, look right. Okay. Okay. But otherwise, <laughs> yeah. it's like, all right. Okay. Good. All right. So let's see here. Let's take a look at. Aaron, you didn't board here. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So this Moving gate is getting less and less. Huh. Uh, Man, that yellow gate is uh, real nice. <laughs> really? So. Oh. Is that not what you wanted? No. So look at our, a closer look at our resource right. tracker. Sorry. You got a lot of glare. Um, so let's see here. This yellow on yellow gate gets me two, but I only need one. Hmm. So really, I might just go to that red gate. I think that's what I'm going to do, even though it's going to give me two yellow anyway. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to get two yellow, which I can't get two. I can only get one. It's going to max. Right. And then I'll get the one red for going to the red gate, nice. and it's going to max. So I maxed two resources in the same mm. shot. So what I will do is I will go up. What you do doing? Bob, go up one more. I'm going to go up two influence. That's okay. Yeah. Going up two that influence. That puts the Lydia Merchant in here and also gets me uh, two, two coins. coins. And uh, these both get pushed in. There is no one now at the red gate, and I will take back a Lydia Merchant. Okay. So, let's see. I've got... Let's see what I've got here. Let's see what I pulled first. I think I know what I'm doing. Pull the red one. Um, I'm actually going to go to the center of town. So Ooh, let's go ahead. And, I'm going to go ahead and buy. I'm going to start spending some of my money. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to develop this piece of property. The development cost is two wheat. One, two. I'm going to go ahead and develop that one. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I feel like I need to get... All right, let's go with uh, this gold one right here. So uh, I'm going to spend one uh, green, one blue, and one yellow because it can be any color. And Lydian Merchant goes into the center. Mm. And now I take that. Okay. And on your turn, you can buy and develop property in the same turn. Yeah. So um, I'm going to go over there to this part of the city. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead and purchase this one right here. And I think my buying spree is over for right now. And you can't, you may have already said this, but mm -hmm. you can, de you can develop the card as you're buying it. Basically you can choose to buy and develop it. Yes. In paying the cost turn, double. And you would basically. pay the cost double. So yeah, I think I'm done. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull back a Lydian merchant, put it in my bag and I'm finished. Okay. I'm afraid of spending all of my money at once, you know? Yeah. I mean, you mean all of your resources. All of my resources. Yeah, all of your resources. Yeah. Ooh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, that is great. That is what I wanted. I am going to go to the Red Gate. So Dennis said in the chat, the Lydian Merchant, they're the ones who 
were commissioned one, by the king to two. introduce currency to the kingdom. I'm going to choose to go up one. So in the next minute or so, we're going to see how you interact with the Lydian merchant. Um, You're actually going to, they're going to introduce here. coins into the whole Big equation. Bit. I'm going to pull that one back. Okay. I'm done. I chose to go up on the influence. Okay. On the influence, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on. No. Get something good. I, I wanted to pull my Lydian merchant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, blue on blue. I could get double blue there. Double blue. green. Nah, I'll go. I'll go here. Mm -hmm. All right. So a blue guy is going. Oh, and we're putting these. Yeah. The so end. we're laying them down laying since them down. we got a so overhead view over here. Um, um, figured that'll help you guys gate. to see. Uh, should we also do that? What's then? going on? Maybe. Oh, maybe so. For aesthetics. Like that. All right, so oh, you can only buy from one side of the city in a given turn. So, oh. uh, so Dennis, I was wrong for being able to buy from those two locations. Oh, wow. I should have stuck to one. Oh, that's, My bad. That's a good limitation. Yeah, yeah. I like that. So, yeah. okay. I did not realize that because I would, I, I could have bought this one or I could have bought this one. Okay, that's it. So, hey, okay. we messed up rules. Yay! Yay. But we learned. That's why we have Dennis. In, Thank you, in Dennis. Right. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's see here. I went here. I'm going to get a one, two, and then a one green, and that is my entire turn. But what do I want to take back? Um, let's go green. Okay, cool. Let's see. I got a 50% chance of pulling a Lydian merchant. Let's see what we do Let's here. Oh, there. yeah. I got two of them in there. The good so, thing is, Aaron, he doesn't have a lot of resources. That's to true. Sell. He spent them. Or but it's okay. Them, um, so I'm going to put the Lydian merchant at the yellow gate, yeah. which mm -hmm. means that I'm allowed to trade the yellow resource for coins. Yeah. Um, the way that you do this is you trade all of that resource. Uh, if you were at six, you trade six. If you're at, like, where I'm at, three, I would trade three. But first so things first I'll is get my resources. you interact with the... Yep. The, yeah. So I'll get a yellow resource, I'll get a blue resource, and I will get a green resource from this gate. Um, Lydia Merchant trades uh, coin for uh, wheat, and so... And you have to four, spend it all. Spend all of it. Give me four wooden coins, Can you please, choose sir. not to do that? I believe I, so. You wait, you uh, can? I believe you can choose not. I think it's a May statement. Is it you, only at the yellow gate or is it at no, any gate? Any right. gate. You can I think it's that. a May statement. Okay. You may okay. trade for coins. So, uh, Dennis, if we're wrong about that, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think it's a May statement in the rule mm. book. You may trade that resource, the gate resource, for coins using the Lydia okay. Merchant. So. Right. All right, okay. so I'm going to pull... Nope, must always. You must, okay. Yep. So it's not Must a always trade for as many as you can without exceeding 12. I don't know why you that wouldn't. Right. Like, I don't know right. of a reason why that you wouldn't, asking. but... I sometimes mean, if you, so, yeah, but if you want yellow. those resources for something else, if this matters more to yeah. you than one of the ones that cost money, then... Yeah. But I mean, honestly, the 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 coins are mm -hmm. a... A wild resource. A wild resource, so they can so do whatever it we just, want it to it works. So it works as a, the resource that you need and as well as it works for actually yeah. purchasing cars yep. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that, let's see, I have a green. Um, Ryan, since you laid the Lydia Merchant last time, and uh, d did you push one in? Um, no, nobody not. gets pushed in. So. Oh. Yeah, no. It, only when there's double they're double. That's cards, right, remember? that's right. Yep. So can I take advantage of turning my yellow into, or my, yeah, whatever. You, you can, because there's okay. a Lydia Merchant there. Hmm. Correct. Okay, so you may. So Dennis said you may trade for coins, but if you do, you must trade all. Yeah, of yeah, it. yeah. So, you don't have yeah, to yeah. interact with the okay. Lydia Merchant. Correct. But if you do, you you have to take all. Of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm right. going to go here, and then I'm going to get two. Thank green, you, Dennis. A blue. A yellow. And then, well, my yellow is maxed out, but I'm going to use the Lydia Merchant to exchange them. Yeah, why? Which is six. Yep. Six. six coins. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. Now I need to push one in. Oh, uh, I do, no. oh yeah, green. there's two green. Two green. Uh, check to see if the Lydia Merchant goes into the center of town. I think it stays there until, um, I believe it's, 
stays there. That's how we play. Does so the men, do the coins count for anything at the end with in-game scoring? So that's that's an interesting part about this game because normally you are you are trying to gain coins to get in-game scoring. This is a really interesting feature. The only time coins uh, count toward your final score is when you are the person who ended the game. This token right here goes to the person who called Ooh. the end of the game. Uh, this token says one victory point for each coin that you have in your possession. No one else gets to count their coins as part of their... I will say, last time we played, I had uh -huh. a massive amount of coins. Bob only had like six coins, but he made sure to get that before <clears throat> me, the yeah. turn before he me, so that game. I could, he yeah. ended it early so that I wouldn't... Which is a count. really... It was really yeah, good. Really that was good. a great yeah. thing so. that he was able to do that, yeah. Uh, no, you, that does not go back in there. It only okay. goes for pairs. Got it. Um, okay. Did you draw back up? No, I did not. Thank okay. you. Yep. I did not do that. Mm. The turn-to-turn -turn interactions in this game are very simple, but there is a strategy to building the right resources, going after the right properties and things like that, that it it's kind of deceiving, which I like. Hmm. I need more. Okay. So let's see. I need. Uh, okay. Let's go. Yes. What you yes. Got? Okay. So I'm gonna go the here. Blue. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna go blue, 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 and one green, and that's going to go here. I'm gonna bump influence. I'm gonna go one, two, three coins. Nice. And then I'm going to push both of these in because there's double there, and then I'm going to. What are you pulling back? Ah, the blue. Pulling blue, pulling blue back. Blue. Okay. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. You guys are not buying. Not anything. yet. This no. Is, I, I know. This is interesting. Oh, yeah, pulled another I've lady emergency. Three resources. Um, I really feel like. Hmm. You need resources, man. Uh, you think I need resources? <laughs> Um, you know what? I'm going to go to the middle. Oof. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Okay. Green. Oh, he's, uh, blue, he's developing. Yeah. Okay. And red. Go ahead and develop this one right here. Yeah. All right. And uh, mm. then I'm going to go ahead and one, two, three. Um, these three are going to be... Go into my pocket. Uh -huh. They're not going in any pocket. Those three, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this building right here. All right. And that is the end of my turn. Wow. Okay. All right. This, uh, this card right here, this property, gives you one victory point for each blue resource at the end of the game that you have. Backside of it is two victory points for every blue resource you have at the end Did of the game. Did you purchase that out of spite? I purchased it out of spite. <laughs> I was mm, like, wait yeah. a minute. You're not even concentrating on Jerry, blue resources. Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> could return a jacket out of spite. <laughs> I can only go jacket. to the center with a Lydia Merchant. No, no we didn't. Yeah. 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 I couldn't remember. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, hmm, do I want to do it or not? Again, this is The Lions of Lydia uh, from Bellwether Games. If you are um, interested in this game, you can head over to their Kickstarter. You can see it on the show notes. Whether or not you're on Facebook you or YouTube watching, uh, be sure to Bella? check it out. Sorry. Um, it Lloyd. is a very cool game. Green. I'm going to go at one more on the influence tracker. Okay. Here. Get three coins. Get three yeah, coins. very cool resource management. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So oh, I gotta pick one. Okay. Yeah, take your uh, mm. meeple back. And yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay, that was what I wanted. I didn't want to pull my, mer my Lydia Merchant out. I am going into the center. Alright, going blue. The question is... What area of town? Yeah, what area of town? Mm. Okay, I, I like that card. I have to do that, I think. I want to go. I want to come over here, yeah. but I just I love that card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought about Did that I pull card. a person back? Count and see how many. See you how have. many. Are no, I didn't. Well, I just it. thought about do it. it. I was like, well, way to go, dude. Yeah, <laughs> ruining the game. Um, 
Man, sorry guys. AP. And, okay, I am. I'm gonna go to this. The what for me is the west side of town. West side of town. Uh, I am going to use three of my coins to purchase this. All right. I am going to use. Man, you are stacked with resources. Shoot, I know, man. Yes. So to wow. grab this. Are you just gonna buy out the whole west side? I could, dude. Uh, let's go one, two, and one green to buy this. Do it, Bob. Um, question is, is what synergy do I have here? Actually, I think I'm going to stop buying. Okay. But I'm going to use one, two to develop. Okay. And then I'm going to stop right there. All right. Sounds good. So let me, um, because I don't want to deplete myself yeah. and have to build all the way back up. Mm -hmm. I'm, like giving away, I'm giving away strategy here. Like I did. But yeah, I, I want to keep these so that when I get resources, mm -hmm. they go up quick mm -hmm. again. I spent what I needed and then mm -hmm. I can get up here and develop them for free or just slam up my influence. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's go ahead and grab uh, uh, the blue guy back. All right. All right, <clears throat> bag cam, what am I going to pick? Say yellow, please. Yellow, look at that yellow meeple. All right, let's see what I'm going to do here. Gates are um, bare right now. Yeah, Everybody gates are a little yeah. bare, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, when I put the yellow one right here, uh, I'm going to get yellow, yellow, blue. So yellow, yellow, blue. Lydia Merchant, I'm not going to interact with. Um, I'm actually going to get two additional resources because of yellow on yellow. Mm -hmm. um, and then I am calling it a day. All right. And uh, I'm going to pull, oh, that's nice. I think I'm going to pull this one right here. Pull Check that right. So. Oh, like if he that. places it's a, a Lydia one. Merchant but, at a yellow yeah. or red gate, he he's going to get two wheat and two cows. Yeah, it's a time. pretty beastly card. Yeah, that's right a nice card. Not okay. That is a very nice card. I'm going to go to the center gate here. I'm going to go ahead and develop this card for two okay. rolls. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here. Okay. What's this side called? That's the east side. That's, the east side. I mean, for okay. her, it's the west side. But. Well, <laughs> true. Uh, okay. Call it whatever I you want. This to... side of the board. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to buy and develop this card. So that's four bull mm -hmm. and two coins yep. so I'm going to go back down here and then pay two okay. so he's bought and developed and I'm also going to buy and develop this yeah you're for stacked four. With coins one over two there. three four Ooh. right there bought no, and developed no, no, no. just want to point out um, uh, the illustrations from Daryl Jones oh, uh, yeah. very cool illustrations very cool illustrations um, it, everything like has a good perspective to it you know when you look Mm -hmm. Top down sometimes things can look a little wonky. Uh, very cool design, and then the cards are are really nice illustrations on each card. I actually I wish the cards were just a little bigger, just because the illustration is really nice. So, I think that I'm trying. I'm debating on whether or not to buy that one. Um, you must activate your cards first when you play a meeple, and that way you can always convert the resources you gained into coins if the Lydian is there. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. why I was saying make sure you run Do the gate your, first, yep. run everything so that that's way you right. can sell all you can to the Lydian merchant. Yep, correct. Mm. Goodness, this is a decision. Um, it would put a Lydian merchant into the center for you. Yeah. Yes, or for you. No, have? because you're going to pull know, back I'm right just, now. I mean, you don't have to take the Lydia <laughs> no, merchant if you don't right. want it. I don't have any Lydia merchants. Okay, I'm going to go back yeah. one That's here a problem. One. and here. And I'm going to put it there. And he's this one's not developed okay. yet. Um, and then I'm going to pull back the merchant. Okay. Um, Actually, I'm going to pull back the blue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm, all right. Come on. Got a bunch Sorry, of meeples I around keep this. Yes. Them up. Okay. Got a bunch of meeples around this town oh, square. Man. Town hold circle. on. Actually, I didn't want that. But that's a. Oh, yeah, wait. Hold on. Yeah, that'll do it. All right. So I'm going to go here to this gate here. Yep. I'm going to get. Uh, 
one, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's just max. The, yeah, the yeah, synergy max actually yeah. is just max. Yep. Yeah. Good job. So I'm going to max that. I'm going to push that. means I'm going to push the influence up here, and I'm going to get four coins. Bunch of coins. Yeah, it's four coins, yeah. Influence. Um, you are rising fast on that influence track. Yeah. Kind of worried about that. And then I'm going to get double yellow. Okay. Boom, boom. You see what oh, I did man. there? I only Come pushed on. them down when I bought it. I only bought a little bit. Come on. Down. So that's going to max again. I'm going to do yep. that. I'm going to pull back five. <sighs> man. Should, should I, or should I develop something for free? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to develop this for free. I'm not going to take... Okay. I'm not going to take, gonna the, take the bump. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to take the influence. Okay. All right. So, um, do I want to interact with the Lydia Merchant? I don't know. I, You're pretty flush with coin over there, Bob. Yeah. I do want to interact with Lydia Merchant. Do you? Yeah, because I have such synergy with mm -hmm, my blue, mm -hmm. but yeah, I can just do. rock that right yeah. back okay. up. So both of these are going into here because I had two of the blue. I'm going to interact with the Lydia Merchant, which gives me six coins. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, six. Okay. Okay, and then that is... You oh, got to pull yep, back. I'm going to pull back. I'm going to take... Uh, nope. Let's see. I'm going to take the blue. All right, let's see what I got. Oh, uh, okay. Please come out red. Blue. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Blue. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Um, I feel like this is the right thing to do, though. So put this one right here. Blue's going to get... That's two yellow. Max it out. I'm going to go ahead and go up one. That gives me two coins, please. Two coins. I'm going to claim that blue resource. And then I'm going to interact with the Lydian Merchant and sell all six yellow. You get six coins, mm, sir. He's all the way. I got all them coins. Yeah, he's all the way back down on resources, too. Yeah. So, I don't know so if it's a good strategy or not. Did you take so, one back? I did not take one back yet. Uh, I'm going I would to, like pull, to pull. I'm going to pull this Lydian merchant back. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Mm, red. Okay. I'm. Oops. I'm gonna put my red meeple at the red gate, which gives me Ooh. three. Oh my I'm goodness! I'm gonna end up losing some. Yeah, you are. You're gonna lose a lot there. Is there another mm. gate that's better that's for not you? Looking at so. Not, I mean, mm. I would like to. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you place Actually, at a green gate. Uh, Actually, though, that gives me three. Yeah. And then this gives me one, two, three, four. You're going to lose one, a little bit. Two, but... Just one, though. Just, oh, yeah, and that's one. fine with me because I'll get, I want to go up one more oh, here. So I get a coin. Oh, I get it. Oh, well, that's only if I place a Lydian Merchant. Oh, it's a Lydian yeah, Merchant. Yeah, that's I, what, I can't see it from here. Right, it's too far away. <clears throat> so I went up one, so I get, so four, get four coins. Points. And does that matter? So that's the end of game that's score. That's the end of game score, right? right? Okay. So I think I need to draw one back and then I'm done. Um, I'm gonna draw back. Uh, oh wait, these, I gotta yep, push those. They both in. go in. And I'm gonna draw. If you have any questions, Dennis Hoyle of Bellwether Games is in the chat. If you have any questions about the game, um, how it was developed, questions about the Kickstarter, anything, you just ask, and I'm sure Dennis can uh, can let you know. So. Just move that closer to, in, the, in the shot. Oh, I was already, I already <laughs> cut from that camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so, Aaron, you pulled back, correct? I did. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, come on. Uh, that's a Lydia Merchant. That is not who I wanted to pull. That's what I want. <laughs> oh, that did you is not your back? who I want. Uh, I've only got one Lydia Merchant right in now. there, which okay. is really sad. Uh, okay. I really wanted to pull blue. Uh, why is everyone taking the blue meeples away? Mm -hmm. They are. You know, um, the so I don't have any special Lydia Merchant Man, bonuses. Man, we got a pile up of But reds. I do yes. need that red. And then I guess... I... <sighs> hmm. All right. I don't see Bob. I don't see Bob with AP very often, but this has been interesting. <laughs> this is good. You've, uh, you've uh, yeah. There's um, 
there's a, a there's a lot to think about yeah, in yeah, this game. Is. It's a very simple game to learn, to teach, to understand, but that doesn't mean there's not a lot of depth to it. Oh yeah. There definitely. is a lot of depth in figuring out how to plan your moves and when it is necessary to do yep. certain things in this game. It's all about timing. Absolutely. Um, so that's gonna go there. Uh, that's gonna bump, and I'm going to go here. I gotta make sure I get those end game victory points. One, two, three, four. Five, you think nine. you're getting those end game victory points. <laughs> um, and I am not going to interact with the Lydian Merchant. Okay. But I am, however, going to pull back a meeple, as I always do. And man, there are no blue in here. Let's go ahead and pull back. A green. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see what I pull. Please be a Lydian uh, merchant because I get crazy. Oh, oh you snap. Got it. All right. Well, so. You care about Lydian yeah. Merchant. No, yeah, because I what? No, I put this Lydian merchant oh, right over here. Right Look what I get. Oh. Look what I get. Yeah. Okay. okay. So first, I'm gonna do the two yellow, one blue, uh, and that's it. Then I'm going to take this perk right here. Lydia Merchant on a yellow gate is two yellow, two, two, two red. Uh, these two peoples go like into the happening. middle. And then I'm going to pull back a... Um, I'm going to pull back a yellow, I think. Good, because that might be your last pull. Whatever. It's not going to be my last pull. <laughs> Yo, I'm stacked you gonna over cut, here, you're dude. You're going to cut my hands off? I'm what stacked you gonna do? over here. You are. You are. Like, unbelievably so, stacked. Yeah. I don't have a lot of endgame yes. scoring, though. Okay. Um, I'm going to go here. Okay. And so I max out blue. You have 12 coin max. So, oh, are all max? Those yours? You have way more Why than twelve guys, coins. How'd you guys remember to tell me? Hold on. I need two, I need two oh, more man. coins from somewhere. Oh, Dennis, thank you for putting that out there just now. Actually, 10, 11, 12. I can't even get my. I can't even get any more. That's, that's fine. I like it. That's I like fine. It. Okay, so I've that never, moves me up. I've never had prestige. more than 12 coins, so I don't know what that richness looks or like. Or influence, oh, right. not prestige influence. influence. And then I go up one there. So, yeah. Um, Are you max? So, I'm max. So, that means that that resource type on your board, which for you is red, yes. it, it functions as any red type of Red is a resource. wild. Yeah. So, so you can spin I... red as yellow or blue yep. or green or whatever. Okay. So Erin okay. maxed out her influence, so yeah, which is good That's for great. her. Okay. So anytime I would go up in red, I can choose to go up in any other one. That no, amount. whenever you pay. Whenever you I pay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So your red resource, you could go down two for yellow. Oh, You're... so like if I wanted to develop that later on, mm -hmm. I could do yeah. a red, a red, and a red. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Oh, uh, I need to pull back. Um. What do I have in here? Oh, okay. Alright, so I pulled a green, but I am not taking resources. I don't okay. need resources. I need to make purchases. Nobody is visiting the south side of town. It's what all. I'm about <laughs> to do. It's Somebody visit the south do. side of town. I'm going to the south side of town. So okay. I'm paying three. For this. Okay. I'm going to pay three more and develop it right away. Okay. Man. Mm -hmm. Two red... One green, grab that. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, they're not developed, okay. so I only None have one, two, developed? three. I only have one, two, three developed. I'm okay. not developing seven okay. or full cards in this round. Um, I don't have any blue. Yeah, mm. do I really want that? Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, two and two more to okay. develop this. Wow, okay. All right. 
So you've got I gotta seven have properties. That, I gotta yeah. have that. Ang- so pull uh, pull some up into into view. So we've got uh, they're falling off oh, the camera. Um, yeah, yeah, out of view what? a little bit. We'll, do, uh... we'll just scoot it. You can scoot that way just a little. So all right. So uh, pull back, and then I'm going to don't touch my properties. There. Don't touch gotcha. my properties. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave them alone. All right. I'm gonna build them around my. There we go. That's nice. Make a little hedge. Yeah, All right, hedge. you're. Uh, did you pull back? Uh, no. Do I want a Lydia Merchant? I don't. I don't know. You had a lot of coins Let's a couple see. minutes Green ago. Green gets me red. Um, I need blue. I only have one blue guy. Somebody give me a blue guy. Mm. I got um, one in the bag. I'll take green. Okay. Let's see what I get. Right. A blue guy. Mm. Ooh. That's not what I want. Stick them out that gate right there. Actually, that would that's a be good gate. very helpful, actually. Yeah, that's a good gate. Oh, no, I don't want to give you that stuff. <laughs> um, but I do want to get its perks, so I'm going to go ahead and put that one there. Um, I'm going to get a green. I'm going to get one, two, three, blue. One, two, three. Mm. This goes up. Give me three, three coins. sir. And that puts me at my max of 12 coins. All right. Um, and then let's see, I uh, get a yellow and that is all my resources from that gate. And then these two go back to the middle yeah. and then I'm going to pull, doo, 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 I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull a red and that is, that Which means I'm turn. getting the blue. You're getting yeah. the blue. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to go to the middle yep. because I need to. Mm. Yep. Um, I'm going to develop this one first, oh, but I'm going to use. She's stacked. She is. I'm going to use got all my those resources. red. Okay. So you're going to so go, go red, one, red, two, three. red. Red. Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, I'm going to come back one and use one as blue. Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to come to this side of town okay. and I'm going to buy and develop this for six. Six. One. Two, three. I don't know if that's my best bet because I don't have a lot of purple. But two, three, four, five, six. Let's balance. Okay. And then I, I mean think that's still worth eight points right now. That's true. That's true. And then I want to also purchase this, and I'm going to use all. I'm going to use all red hmm. to purchase this. One, two, three. Okay. Right. Nice. So, is it six developed? Seven. It's seven, seven. developed. Okay. Seven which seven. you have, you have, you have five, five, five developed. developed. Right. Right. Yep. So, Aaron's properties are just outside the range of the uh, camera. But yeah, they're, right. there. Yeah, they're, they're there. there. They're there. Okay. So. Is that a little better? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Here, we'll do this. We'll just scoot those over. There, there you go. go. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Pull a maple. It's, I knew it wasn't good. Oh, wait, did I pull one back? No, uh, go not. ahead and pull one back in. Okay, I can remember. If I, um, I'm going to pull it. Okay. The bag management idea, because uh, we've all played bag builders. I've never played a game where it's just a small quantity mm-hmm. of something in a bag. I really like it, though. It's yeah. really good. It feels really good. Trying like to build the, up that percentage of the color you're yeah, trying yeah. to mm-hmm. uh, to draw out of the bag. And while, you, yeah. yes, it's a 75% chance that you are going to draw yeah. a certain color, sometimes it just doesn't happen. All right. So green to a blue, placing a green gets me absolutely nothing. I don't have any green gate abilities. I do, but it's got to be a red guy on a green. Um, so I got my two green. I get one measly blue. And I wasted a yellow. Mm-hmm. Um, but that is okay. These both go in here, and I'm going to pull back that. Pull the blue. Yep. All right, let's see what I got. I'm going to pull somebody out of this bag. I'm going to pull this one. A yellow, yellow. meeple. Yellow meeple right oh, there in the center going of town. I'm going buying. Going on a buying spree, guys. Where you this going? is what's happening. Uh, let's go ahead and first three coins to develop this one right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and spend two bulls and one coin to develop this one right here. Okay. Got four developed. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase this one 
right here. Okay. Let's go right over there. You might two as well green just develop it. And a blue. That's true, I will develop that. Yeah, two Give green two and a blue. Coins. And we get you two more coins for this. That's five developed there. Um, let's see. You don't mm -hmm. have enough to develop that? No. I you am could buy that. I am though. not gonna buy that. So, okay, um, and I'm going to pull back. Let's see who I'm going to pull back. I'm going to pull back <clears throat> that yellow. All right. All right, and that is it Go for my turn. Go ahead, Aaron. All right. Ooh, how bad will y'all hate me? Are you going to go Very out? Very bad. <laughs> Very much. That you got a lot of resources. I mean, oh, so you know, we each oh, get well. we each get we, one yeah, we're turn. Get one more turn. Uh, mm. Is it is it even the Game ender? No, it's just the other two. It's just I believe. The, uh, did you did you I believe say the, the coin? Uh, no, coin coins only pressure. count. Coins only uh, count if you are the person who ends left. the game. Um, yeah, all the players uh, get one final turn. Okay, so if you end it, Bob and I get one more turn. Yeah, yeah. If I end it, yeah. If we'll you end, end it, we'll see. What's my best? So this card right here, Bob, you look in the little glossary right there. This is uh, equal. <laughs> I if believe you it's have matching, for matching a pair. Matching a pair. Yeah. Uh, for each pair you get... A pair of non-Lydian merchants the same color in your bag. Okay, So gotcha. that's potentially worth 12 victory points. Yeah, okay. got it. I'm, I am going to the middle. Okay. I'm going to develop She's gonna this buy. Yep. for two oh, blue. <laughs> Bob, it's and over. And red. It's okay. over. And then I'm going to purchase and develop, develop this oh, guy for Bob, six. Bob, it's over. It's the end of it. One, end two, of the game. Yeah, three, that's all right. That's four, all right. Five, five six. six. And she took the center token, not having any money. I know, I like it. What a <laughs> what a mean thing to do. That's yeah, yeah that's perfectly fine. Well, I, only had I mean, you I guys didn't have so yeah. many that yeah. it would have been. I only had two points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So. All right, so this is our last uh, last, last, last foray turn, right? into last Yes. So of course, of course it would be a green. Of course it's a green. And not Why a blue. Else? Why not? Because now I can't go anywhere to get double blue. Oh. Oof. Um, yeah. This would have been worth 12 victory points oh. had I had done that. Um, I can make it worth 8 victory points, although this is worth 12, so that's good. Uh, is it better for me to grab resources? So... It's going to be an interesting scoring game yeah. because I'm about to... Wow, these gates are uh, bare, too. What did yeah. you guys do? Hmm. Yeah. Hey, you contributed. That's eight victory so. points I'm losing out by not being able to get the correct... Well, no, I could get eight victory points just by going to that green gate right now. Is that what I do? I don't know. How you feel? Hmm. nine but i can't afford that that is three i can flip it for six that's three i can flip it for six um but i'm losing out there so yeah this is the best thing to do okay go to the green gate uh i get two one two i'm gonna go ahead and pop this up to yep, 18. that's eight points that's eight okay, points so right there pull back, my best bet. pull back one um I mean, let me make sure i don't have any end game and what are you... Oh, man, what's in your bag? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to take that blue just in case. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll need that blue. I'm not spiteful. I'm, I'm not spiteful. No, no, not at all. I'll need blue. All right, so I pulled a yellow, uh, okay. so which is fine. So I'm going to put that yellow there. I'm going to go up two yellows, max out one blue, max out both of those. I'm going to take as influence... I get four, mm. I get nine coins. I can only hold, yeah, you can only hold eight. eight. So just give me eight. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, thank you that for was those a sweet coins. Coronavirus. Virus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dump. I'm not touching yeah, your I'm hand. Not touching your hand. Uh, and then I'm actually going to pull back a yellow. And that is the end of the game. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to score our points. So uh, I don't have a piece of paper or anything, uh, but we'll we'll remember it. Here. 
Well, there's, no, we'll remember. Oh, we do. Really? Yeah, we'll, we'll remember. remember. We'll remember. Sure, we'll remember. I don't know about that. So. We might need a calculator as well. No, we don't need calculators. Uh, calculators are stupid. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody. So what we're going to do on the back of the book, it actually has, back of the instruction manual, it has scoring victory points shown on all the bottom of your gray cards. So okay. the gray cards, go ahead and give me a number. So I've got a 4, 10, 13 for me. Yeah, I have the same, Ryan. You have 13 also? Yeah, 13. So Ryan, Aaron, and Bob, you have 16, you said? Mm -hmm. I have the gray, yes. 16, 16. for mm -hmm. Aaron, okay. Uh, and then let's see, we've got victory points shown on, on your spaces influence. on your influence tracker. Aaron and Bob both have 18, 18. apiece. Yeah. 18 apiece. Yeah. I am only at 10, a measly 10. It's all right. Poor me. And okay. the calculated value of all your purple cards. All the purple cards. Yeah. So look what is in my bag. So Doubles. That's nice. 12 points. Nice. There's no way I could have stopped them anymore. And then right. this is six right here. Um, so another 12. Man, I'm feeling good. 24 points for my purple cards. Aaron's counting higher than my number. Um, what's eight? 30? Plus 18. Are you serious? Yes. Bob has 30. 30. Points on purple 36, cards. What's 36 plus 24? Get out of here. 36 plus 24. Daryl, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. That's 60. So, 60. 60. Because my what? green were worth two a piece. So that's 12. And then my influence was worth uh, two and I was two. at 18. Uh, Is that not how that works? Because this side says I don't one. know. It, Let me double check. Look at that. Uh, I mean, I might be wrong. Shown for I, every step. You've advanced. Oh, so, so, so just one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so, then so never 12. mind. Okay, so oh, 12. I didn't know how to count. You're trying to cheat, Erin. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. So I had 12 yeah. there, uh -huh. and then I have so 12 24. there. So 24. And 24 plus 12. 12. 36. 36. Yeah. Okay. Uh, still a ton of points. <laughs> it, it is. It is. All right, <laughs> and then yeah. I think the last thing is the... Uh, it's the... Um, the sum of the coins you have. Sum of the coins if you have the Only tile. Only if you have the fountain, fountain tile, tile, which, which Aaron does. Aaron's, which it doesn't matter. Zero. Wow. Okay, Oh, so. wait, I have a question. Yes. Sure. How is this... This is this is the that's, developed that's side. That's one point. That's two points. Right, but we counted one for every... Oh, but you... No, just, double. I'm sorry. Yeah, we yeah, So, it. on the one it. side, it's worth six points. Gotcha. The developed is actually worth 12. Gotcha. Okay, yep. that makes sense. Sorry. Uh, somebody sing some music while I There we go. That's a good one. <laughs> this is not going to sit well with my wife. Uh, the final score. Bob. The final I'm score. So she already you. knows me? how this ends. One. I see it. Um, one. She sees the that number. That makes me irate. Uh, so, <laughs> wow, Aaron, that makes me mad. Oh, I Aaron, don't think you did it right. I had 47. Aaron had 60. And Bob had 61. Oh, 61 Good points. Good job, Bob. Wow. Aaron That's is, hard for me to say. I know. Oh, uh, this is not I know Aaron doesn't Aaron. like losing by one she point. No. Like Good that. job, Bob. Yeah. She would rather... <laughs> you earned, you earned it. She would rather uh, come in last yeah. place than lose by one you point. You earned it though. And we know this. So, so uh, that's yeah. two games in a row for me. Mm -hmm. That's true. For yeah. Lines that's Lydia. true. Yeah. So, this is a really good yeah. game. Lines of Lydia, excellent game. Now on yeah. Kickstarter. So hand me that box so yeah. we can sign off. So uh, Bellwether Games, uh, just go check this out. The Kickstarter link is in the show notes. Uh, we've been sharing it. We've actually got a preview of the game on OneBoardFamily.com. And because we are in a time of our lives where everybody is social distancing themselves uh, due to coronavirus, we actually have a feature about how we can game and still be okay with our health, uh, gaming at a distance on OneBoardFamily.com. So check that out feature out so thanks so much for joining us dennis thank you for answering the questions yes, and straightening you. us out straightening yes. ryan out yes <laughs> daryl thank you for jumping in at the end and if you see anything that we messed up let us know great artwork i really appreciate it so until next time we'll see you at, at the, the table, table. <laughs> my son